everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I'm here today to do a book review. I want to talk about I Am a Body of Land by Shannon Webb Campbell. I heard about this book listening to a podcast, the uh, last chapter podcast with Sheila Rogers, which is a podcast uh, that the that CBC Radio creates, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And I wasn't listening to the actual radio show as it was airing. I was listening to a podcast, and what they do on their podcast is they condense certain parts of their previous um, radio interviews and just share certain snippets of them with you. So what I listened to was Sheila Rogers interviewing Lee Maracle and Shannon Webb Campbell. This book of poetry came out of an interesting kind of harrowing situation. Shannon Webb Campbell created a body of work, submitted it to her publisher. I'm not sure how far down um, the line the book got before it received some criticism from foundations, communities in Canada, because Shannon Webb Campbell had written specific poems about women who were um, part of the murdered and missing Indigenous women. And she did not ask permission from the families to use their names. And I, I'm not even super clear on all of the nitty gritty details. Um, I will link the podcast down below in the description box. And if you uh, Google it, I'm sure you can come up with all the details of what happened. But what the publisher then did was try to enlist the help of someone else who could help Shannon to reconfigure the poems that were um, problematic and to help her to kind of um, dig deep into the essence of her work and revamp it so that it was no longer in any way appropriating anyone's experience but her own. And that is what Lee Miracle did. She mentored Shannon Ka uh, Webb Campbell and she helped her to find the sources. And the interview with Sheila Rogers goes into the details about that. And this is probably my quickest book purchase ever in my life. I heard them talking in this podcast. I heard Shannon Webb Campbell. I think she may have recited two poems from the collection in that podcast. And I immediately ordered this book. <laughs> so I loved every single poem in this book. I think that's probably the first poetry collection that I've ever read that has had that effect on me. I, the, 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 there's an introduction by Lee Miracle talking about their process a little bit and what they went through together. And I just think that these poems are so important for right now. They are about what is going on in the lives of so many Canadians, Indigenous Canadians, right now. Now, Shannon Webb Campbell is um, part Indigenous and part uh, European settler. And so she has a very unique perspective where she is writing from being the product of two, of the two kind of opposite factions. And I think that makes this even more compelling to me in a lot of ways because of her um, personal story and how that has played into her as a poet and as a person living in Canada. So I'm going to read you two poems from this collection. I'll start with one now that is called After the Upheaval. I've landed here, my voice damp with shame. My insides burn. I wait for someone to ask me to leave. I'm a translation of a translation. Somewhere on the chopping block of cutting and absence, I cower. I trace tree lines. I am looking for a root, a stem to grow a sense of who I am, metabolize where I come from, and process who I belong to. I'm afraid of all that came before. 
I think you can tell from that poem how raw this poetry is, how poignant it is. Uh, she, there's no words in here that um, shouldn't be here. Um, Lee Miracle does talk about that. She talks about her philosophy in writing poetry and how she helped Shannon to tap into that in herself and to bring out the essence of what she was trying to say through her poetry. The second one I'm going to read to you is called Their Worldview is a New Home in an Ancient Land. If you think you can hold dominion over flora and fauna, that a body and life can be property, you'd better try buying a constellation. I am not landless nor law. In sorrow's aftermath, remind me, I am a body of land unlearning what cannot be expressed. Dig to find a physical knowing, ceremony. Our cells remind us we are living in the intersection of trauma and desire, a distorted state. How can we imagine ourselves not broken, set vowels and variables, open to seven generations before and after? I could just read you the whole book, but I think you um, it's just a better idea to go out uh, to get this for yourself. It's simply, I mean, it's my favorite poetry collection I've read this year in 2019. It is a 2019 release. I would recommend uh, if you are interested in poetry, if you're interested in Indigenous poetry that is talking about the relationship to the land that you live on and the people who are colonializing or have, who have colonialized that land, um, these poems are very, very telling about that experience and affected me very deeply. So I would highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching today. And I really do hope that you will give this beautiful poetry collection a try.